Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, absolutely amazing video today. We're going to react to Imam Shamil, the warrior of Dagestan. No other name than Habib Nurmagomedov pops into mind when we're thinking about Dagestan. Habib single-handedly put Dagestan on the map. For me personally, Habib is an excellent representation of a modern-day Muslim. Habib dominated the UFC physically, but moreover psychologically as well. He never resorted to trash talk. He simply didn't need it. He always displayed perfect manners, respect, stoicism, and of course, first and foremost, the worship of one God. He always pointed away from him and glorified Allah. He never let money and fame corrupt him, but stayed true to his deen. But as you can see in the background, long before there was Habib, there was apparently Imam Shamil, the warrior of Dagestan. Guys, I'm super excited for today's video. With no further ado, let's have a look. Long before there was Habib, Dagestan was home to a far Send greater location. Fight. Imam Shamil, the man who resisted the Russian Empire. Imam Shamil is renowned for leading a 25-year resistance against the Russian Empire in the Caucasus. And he's considered one of the greatest military leaders of all time. They say no man could run like Imam Shamil, no man could ride a horse like Imam Shamil, no man could swim like Imam Shamil, no man could fight like Imam Shamil. He was born in 1797 to an Avar family in the village of Gimri, in the mountains of Dagestan. And by the age of 20, he traveled to Syria, where he mastered several of the Islamic sciences. After returning to Dagestan, he joined the fight against Russia as it sought to expand its borders into the Caucasus. His fighting was, however, cut short after he obtained severe injuries in the Battle of Gimri in 1832. After his recovery in 1834, he was appointed as the new Imam and leader of the Dagestani army. Due to his towering height, athletic build, and immense Islamic knowledge, he swiftly attained the trust of the This is what is so beautiful to see in Islam. It does not matter if you're a common Muslim or even an Imam. Physical fitness is adored. Physical fitness and health are promoted in Islam. When I look back into Orthodox Christianity, I was really shocked, I have to say, when I visited Athos, for example, most of the monks and priests or archbishops even, they all had a pot belly. Most of them ate a lot of oil and bread, which in turn made them fat, of course. And I always thought, man, how can you neglect your physical body? Of course, we're focusing on the spiritual here, but it needs to be in balance and balance means that the body and the mind are healthy. He was also able to structure and unify the Muslim ranks throughout the Caucasus into one Islamic army. He signified a beam of light for Caucasian autonomy and gave people hope of long-awaited peace. He was also able to rectify many of the social vices of the time and bring his people closer to Islam. From 1834 to 1859, he continued to defiantly resist the Russian forces, despite their clear military advantage. News of his ability to forestall the gigantic Russian Empire's expansion soon spread across the world, and he soon became famous for his bravery and virtue, a man who would never surrender. However, in 1859, his power slowly weakened due to internal tribal conflicts, and he was eventually captured. He was thus taken prisoner by Russian forces and placed in a 10-year exile under strict supervision. Nah. Following his exile, he was granted permission to make the Hajj pilgrimage for the second time in his life. Mm. After completing the Hajj, he visited the city of Medina and subsequently died there in 1871. Wow. He was buried in Al-Baqir Cemetery with many of the family and companions of the Prophet Muhammad May Allah have mercy on Imam Shamil and may his story serve as a legacy for Muslims around the world. 
Alright guys, and this is already it for today's very very short video. Absolutely fascinating character, makes me want to watch more about this personality called Imam Shamil. Please let me know as well in the comment section if you want me to react to more videos about Imam Shamil because I believe that this is an absolutely tremendous part of history that most of us do not know anything about. There's so much deep history within Russia and beyond of course that we simply do not know about. One thing however struck me in this short video and this is his ability to unite people and I really believe that this is what makes a leader. If we look into the Arabic Peninsula prior to the coming of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, they were scattered, they were divided, they were fighting each other, they were at each other's throats consistently until Prophet Muhammad came and united the Arabs under one flag of Islam. And this is truly the core message of this video today. It is about uniting people because you can see at the end of his life he gets ratted out, he gets sold out basically and gets into exile because they have internal conflicts. And this is really what it boils down to, what we have to remember as people. If we adore a movement, if we love a movement that we are part of, we can never attack each other, man. The movement always comes before any personal conflict. This is what people have to remember, truly. I've seen so much infighting, no matter what the niche is, be it Christianity, be it Islam, but even in dietary niches, be it the ketogenic diet or the carnivore diet, people not thinking about the greater good, but attacking each other, trying to get an advantage over their brothers. This is absolutely repulsive and will destroy the movement like a cancer from within. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, make God bless you all. Much love and peace.